Hello friends, today we will discuss uh, how to find uh, unit root in a series. Suppose I say uh, this is my series. Mm, this is spot prices of Nifty index uh, that is the uh, stock that is of National Stock Exchange India. And I want to know whether it is at log level, stationary or not. So simple way we can do ADF test which is augmented Dickey Fuller test. So I just open the series and go uh, on unit root test, click and then here is the list of all the unit root tests available in eViews. These tests are, but most of them we use generally in literature are ADF test, ADF GLS, uh, Dickey Fuller GLS test and Phillips Perron test. Uh, so here you can take the series at level <coughs> at first difference. So I am taking the series at level, not at first difference. And then uh, what is your uh, trend assumption? Is it uh, with intercept, with intercept and trend or no? So suppose I say generally we take intercept only here. And what is assumption based on literature? You have to, if you don't know what should we use here, you have to do ADF test at all of these three things at none with intercept with intercept and trend as well and suppose I say I'm taking only intercept and when I go to what should be your lag selection criteria because ADF test are sensitive to lag selection so I say generally IC or SIC is used SIC is by default and it will select lags based on its own and suppose you know ki, uh -huh, I don't want to do this I will select based on my own so you can specify from your side ki what lag you should uh, you want to include in your uh, regression model but I am I just do like this only let the EV decide what lags should be included then I put ok so now the results are with us here the null hypothesis is log spot has a unit root means this series is having a unit root means it is non-stationary so the null hypothesis of ADF test is series is non-stationary okay now assumption here is only constant we are having lag length selection based on SIC is 2 and then these are the critical values at 1% 5% 10% level um, when we go uh, for the T statistics of our regression model uh, the it for that coefficient in the equation it is minus 0 0.3 this is the variable which will enable us to whether to reject or not, or not uh, like what I say uh, what we need to do with the null hypothesis and this is probability value so at conventional if we say if probability value is less than 0 0.05 at 95 percent confidence level we can reject the null hypothesis but here it is more than 0 0.05 so we cannot reject the null hypothesis means series is non-stationary at level and this is our regression equation entire regression equation uh, and uh, generally we don't look at this simple thing when we look is t statistics and p value most of them p value if p value is less than 0 0.05 select the null hypothesis and say series is stationary otherwise series is non-stationary similarly you can do the same thing at first difference also you just do first difference all things are remaining same click ok now if i see p value is less than 0 0.05 means series is stationary now so we can simply say the series is non-stationary at level and series is stationary at their first differences means it is integrated of order one or we can simply say it is i1 series thanks friends thanks for watching keep watching